Merry belated Christmas! There are many Christmas specials that become classics, and yet some of them have gone completely unnoticed. When I was a kid, I watched this one every year around this time, and I'm surprised how unknown it really is. I may be nostalgia blind with this, but I truly do love this one. This is Noel. It starts at a glassblower's factory. Apparently, out of all of the ornaments made that year, only one had a happiness. His name was Noel. And at the very moment he was created, old Herman, the glassblower, received truly joyous news. He had become a grandfather. He gave a tear of joy, and that became a part of Noel. Noel is kind of like a pre-movie Spongebob. He's got a wonderful optimism that sort of annoys those around him. Like the angel ornament, Miss Frizenda. Gosh, you're pretty. It's not proper to speak until we have been introduced. I am a very unusual and precious ornament. Yeah, she's a bit of a grump. They were placed in a box of a dozen ornaments, and they're waiting to get bought. Noel's happiness and optimism annoyed the other ornaments. In the store, Noel learns what people are, and he learns what children are. They are called people things. Some of them are littler. Oh, honestly, they are children things. I like the children things. It figures you would. They're eventually bought by a family. Look at this beauty! Cost 50 cents down at Smitty's Coal Yard, but... Oh, darling, it's worth every penny. And look at these. Hey, they're swell. Ah, Merry Christmas, dear. Noel keeps asking his questions, but the other ornaments don't want to answer them. One of the children, however, gives him some attention. I love you. Do you want to go on the tray? She tries to place him on the tree, but almost knocks it over. Noel sees the Christmas tree, and yeah, it's sentient too. So yeah, it's like the Brave Little Toaster Christmas. For this special's tone, it seems quite fitting. The tree's name is Brutus, and because trees are patient, it's willing to answer all of Noel's questions. Eventually, it becomes Noel's first Christmas Eve, and the parents decorate the tree with all of the ornaments. He even meets the Christmas lights. My name's Noel, and I have a happiness. Hi, Noel, sweetie. <laughs> she winked at me. And he sees the presents placed under the tree and meets the train going around. Apparently, he wants to catch his tail. Don't know, but it seems very important for toy electric trains to catch their tails. And finally, they place the nativity scene under the tree. It What's that down there, Brutus? I can't see inside. Just a little toy stable. But why would they have a toy stable? Well, Noel, somehow that little stable is the thing that tonight is all about. It's a Christmas special, so I'm not concerned at being PC. Eventually, the parents admire their work. What's this I feel now? It's so lovely. It's a thing called peace and goodwill. You're quite remarkable to be able to feel it. Usually, it's reserved for the people things and animals, and sometimes us trees. I guess. Maybe it's because I have a happiness. <laughs> I guess maybe it is. <laughs> Finally, Christmas morning comes, the kids are happy, and Noel likes watching everything. And they show the excitement of Christmas Day. But then it became a terrible thing called January 2nd. Back to normal. Huh. They put Noel away in the box and take the tree outside. Goodbye, little fellow. Goodbye. Keep that happiness of yours. Never lose it. Noel never saw Brutus again. I didn't edit that at all. See what I meant about the special's tone? Noel and the others get placed into the attic. There they lay forlorn and forgotten until next Christmas. And it's a happy time once more, where Noel almost falls. Everything is pretty much the same, but Noel is still curious about the stable. This goes on for many years. Christmas and attic. But as the years passed, Noel sensed that a subtle change seemed to come over everything. The children things are getting bigger. Oh, Noel, 
Must you always be so dramatic? Yep, time is moving on and the children are growing up. But Miss Frizenda is still incredibly apathetic about the whole thing. Of course, some things don't change. And yet, some things do. The kids grow up, graduate, and start families of their own. And then... Years later, Noel heard something terrible from down below. Oh, what's the use? Kids scattered all over the country with families of their own. Let's not bother with a tree this year. Noelle is obviously distraught. Miss Frizenda is relieved and calls it a vacation. Yeah, that vacation goes on for quite some time. Noelle eventually fell into a deep sleep. It was lucky that he slept, for he missed the thing called heartbreak which visited the house. He missed the things called wills and auctions. He never heard the words. Ah, oh, just leave that junk in the attic. It's of no use. Yep. You know, there are some things that you don't realize when you watch them as a kid. And I just realized something. This is depressing as all hell. Or not. One day, a new family moves into the house. It's now 1992. $22. Got it down at the mall. <laughs> it's worth every penny. They find the box of ornaments up in the attic. And Noelle is excited to have Christmas again. Miss Frizenda is not. What's Mary about going back to work? Unfortunately, Noelle's dozen are just too chipped and old to use. Chipped and old? Chipped and old? What does he mean by that? Not pretty, I guess. <gasps> Not pretty? Oh, of all the... Oh, put me on that tree. I insist. Put me on that tree. It's no use. They don't want us. But Noel does get salvaged, and he gives a pretty heartfelt goodbye. It looks like everything is back to normal, but it turns out that Noel was too old. He falls and breaks. Oh, the little old red ornament. It's broken. But somehow, Noel was still aware. He was on the floor, he knew that. And for the first time, he could look into the tiny stable. Why, there's little toy people things. And a little toy children thing. The thing it's all about. And then there was the thing called a miracle. For now that his old glass body was no more, mm -hmm. the happiness that was really Noel was released. And now I think that this might be a metaphor for something. So Noel goes out into the world to meet all other houses full of people. And it feels very triumphant. Houses made of grass, houses made of snow, castles and bungalows, chateaus and pagodas and wigwams. And each has its own set of people and children things. But some spoke different tongues with different ways of life. Some that never even heard of Christmas. <laughs> He would live on forever in the happy hearts of all mankind. <laughs> that was certainly interesting. It's definitely a little bit different than I remember it, but it's still pretty... Excuse me, I'll go get that. Huh, a present. I wonder what's inside. Shit. Well, I guess I better review it. 